I guess he made a t-shirt. Okay, I guess Dennis has decided to make a t-shirt at this point. Oh, well, okay, good for you. I think, maybe, I guess, I imagine I should be able to get a cut of this, no? Um, okay, of me crying. And this is like the 10th time that he's put this up. I think that he thinks it upsets me, but I want to explain to you why this like reflects very poorly on Dennis. There's a few other instances of it. I know it's just meant to like provoke me and rile me up. At this point, I'm probably better off just like suing him and not really giving this any more weight. Be so Death Noodles and Papa Gut have been going at it. Not sexually, of course. You know, after a few witty tweets from Death Noodles himself, Papa Gut wasn't too happy and said that he was going to report him to YouTube. And he, in fact, did on Twitter. In this screenshot shown on screen, it's clear to see that Papa Gut is trying to de-platform Death Noodles. He also tries to guilt trip YouTube by saying, is this behavior condoned? Which I find funny because you're trying to de-platform someone. He in fact then deleted those tweets like a little weirdo and then decided to put up an apology saying, I'm sorry for my last tweet suggesting Denny should be punished in some capacity for slandering me. I was actually joking. You know, that's why you actually added YouTube. There's been a considerable amount of videos made on Death Noodles via Papa Gut, resulting in Death Noodles losing quite a few followers. Which, if you ask me, is hot as hell. You know, and it's tweets like this where Death Noodles is saying that he's been trying to stay away from drama that make me laugh and take this situation not so seriously. Because if this is avoiding drama, the Nicocard Avocado is skinny. And speaking of fat jokes, a lot were made towards Papa Gut, which some people would class as body shaming, but it's not really interesting, so let's move and on. And then you know what Death Noodles did? He did the unthinkable and called him a pedophile, basically. Not kidding. And then with a few other gross tweets, just all hell broke loose. So what do I think about this situation? Well, I kind of feel bad for Papa Gut because I think some of the stuff he did say could have been interpreted as quite bad, but also just feel sorry for him because he's literally been called a pedophile by Death Noodles. Slander and harassment uh, targeted against me um, while using words that, you know, try to try to engage in plausible deniability. Well, technically I didn't, but it's it's very shallow and it's very obvious. And so I'm going to get into it and I'm going to address it because he's taken it up another notch. He's going way too far. But the thing is, is that I want to kind of attack this in a better way. I want to approach this in a much better way. I want to be, um, you know, kind of thoughtful and intelligent in my response rather than engaging in this back and forth where we're just screaming, right? Whatever. So he says, Kavos quit YouTube, hasn't posted in weeks. Nobody would know who Papa Gut is in commentary had I not given him crumbs by doing a debate with the sole purpose of calling him an incel to his face and laughing in, uh, in his face about it. Meanwhile, you're here sucking their micro peepees, right? So you see how he's just like, he basically, that just invalidates like any level of an apology. But it's the thing at first, this situation could have been deemed as quite a silly one and some people could have laughed at it. But after reading some of the stuff that has been said and it even spoken out loud, I just think this situation is quite disgusting. Obviously, there are comedic aspects, but I think that gets over shadowed by just the big word of pedophile especially when you're getting called that by the dodgiest man on earth yes i'm looking at you death noodles